we have another health situation spreading around the world. Dylan. Yeah. What's up with this? Monkeypox. Yeah. I mean, is becoming a global emergency. No, dude, it's not. (laughs) This is fucking ridiculous. Here's the whole thing that makes my brain fart out is that monkeypox has been transmitted in Africa. Right. All of a sudden, it's in Europe. And it transmits through rodents and squirrels. And there was even a case where it was transmitting with groundhogs at one mm-hmm. in some place, you know. All of a sudden, monkeypox shows up. It, do- it doesn't leave Africa. That's Mysteriously you know, shows up in, in Europe. Europe and isn't transmitting from animals. It's transmitting through men having sex with men. Gay men. Much. How does this happen? Like, what's the answer to this? Sorry, that's the the cat. That's all right. That's the big question that is so obvious to me is how did it's not the same thing. It's got to be a cover up. What's happening? How does you think you think that it's a different disease? Is that what you're saying? How would this thing? How did it pop up in your oceans? It popped up in Europe. Yeah, it jumped out after forever of not leaving Africa. That's the thing. They, if you read a list of things about the virus, it's, that it stayed, it's in Africa. It's been in Africa for a while. It doesn't leave Africa. even They have a vaccine Africa, for it already. It shows up in Europe, and the one in Europe doesn't transmit with rodents. It transmits through sex with men. It's not even the same thing. It doesn't make any sense. And anybody who's like doesn't question that... I can't play golf with you. Well, now, okay. So apparently, it's not cool to say to say it's like a disease that's just transmitted by with through gay sex with men. Um, that's what like the article said. The the well, I know because that's literally what it is. What's happening? You can't deny facts, but uh, apparently, I've been reading on Twitter that some of the woke media is not a lot not not referring to this disease in that capacity. And they're saying that we don't know how it spreads and that it could be spread upon casual contact. Although everything that this article is saying is that that's not the case. 99% of all monkeypox cases beyond Africa were men. And that of those 98% involved men who have sex with men. So gay men. Yeah. So it's not even the same <clears throat> thing. And small uh, monkeypox is a later version of smallpox. According to this article, basically are- it's a later version less bad version of smallpox one well, the reason i say that i was on stream last night with uh with one of my friend's friends that I, I i just i don't know this guy just was streaming with him playing video game and somehow monkeypox came up and i'd read this article um and uh i was like well you know we don't have to worry about catching that shit you know making a reference that we're straight men so we're okay and like, oh no, man! Like, apparently, you, you know, you just have to really, but br- it's, it's more spreadable than that. You just got to brush up against somebody. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure you got to have anal sex or sexual contact of some sort in order to spread the disease. And uh, yeah, he's like, no, I, it's just kind. Of, you think you just got to touch somebody who has the warts? I'm like, all right, I don't think that's accurate, but that type of information is being spread around. So mm-hmm. they're making people think it's more severe than what. It is. Yeah. And that's the the reason I say that is because like, we don't, this is not something really like, I'm not worried about monkeypox. Are you worried about monkeypox? I'm good. Like we don't need, we don't need more funding for, to take care of this disease. Like people in this article are arguing that as well. Like the countries that are saying that we need this global declaration of emergency for, they already have the, the, the resources in place to fight this disease. Right. Um, they got the vaccines and they're the, going they to the America vaccines. and Europe first. You're going to America and Europe. So they're not even sending the vaccines to where the, vi- where the you know, you think if you'd want to cure the sickness, right? Like send it to where this, where it's coming from, from Africa. But they haven't sent any, like zero doses of the monkey pox vaccine have gone to Africa thus far. Zero. And the they, dude from Africa. to America and Europe. What's his name? Towards the end. Uh, he says, Mbala. 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 
is his name. The solution needs to be global, Mbala said, adding that any vaccine sent to Africa would be used to target those at highest risk, like hunters in rural areas. Quote, vaccination in the West might help stop the outbreak there, but there will still be cases in Africa. Unless the problem is solved here, the risk to the rest of the world will remain. Basic shit. The politicians and huge corporations leading this just go the opposite way on purpose. They just slice it into the fucking brush, declare it's an emergency ball, so that we take the so, penalty shot. And they're like, well, we had to because. So we, we basically have experts saying that we do not need to declare this an emergency. Half and half. It was, it was the half and half. And the, 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 yep, it was the chief. So what about the half that doesn't think this is a problem? None of them matter. It was this one guy. And this is very reflective of what happened with Boris Johnson and the first lockdown of COVID. Remember that? The panel that said, we don't have enough evidence to do a lockdown. Lockdowns are going to hurt people more than if we just wait and let people know just to calm down. And none of their opinions mattered or made the press. It was the one guy that Boris Johnson singled out that pushed the narrative that started the first lockdown. And this is that, you know, this there's there's always a team of scientists that have more to say that you never hear about because the one guy comes out and that's what the WHO director general Tedros Adhanom, I can't say his last name. I'm not going to try. Made the decision on calling monkeypox a global emergency despite a lack of consensus among experts on the U.N. Health Agency's emergency committee, saying he acted as a, quote, tiebreaker. It was the first time a U.N. health agency chief has unilaterally made such a decision without an expert recommendation. Without an expert recommendation. Last month, WHO's committee said that the monkeypox outbreak did not yet amount to an international emergency, but the panel convened this week to reevaluate the situation. According to the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 16,000 cases of monkeypox have been reported in 74 countries since about May. And to date, monkeypox deaths have only been reported in Africa, where a more dangerous version of the virus is spreading, mainly in Nigeria and the Congo. There was some interesting stuff behind the company I tried to look into real quick. Uh, Bavarian Nordic. That's the company who provides the vaccines. Yeah. and And has a patent for it. Yeah, they have the smallpox vaccine, yada, yada, yada. The day they got approval to add to the existing vaccine, it will also cover monkey. They didn't make a vaccine. They added to the existing vaccine that it will also cover monkeypox. Once that got approved is the day everything went live in the media and this narrative started and their stocks, their shares boosted wait, by wait, 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 wait. 26%. Yeah. So you're what? saying this monkey pox vaccine was a is a newer vaccine it just came out. I was reading from the actual Bavarian Nordic website. Got it. And it said, I'm trying to recall here. Okay. It said um something about this vaccine will also cover monkeypox. And there was an approval with the health official shit to add monkeypox to the to what the vaccine will cover. <clears throat> so it's not necessarily this new vaccine they made. It's an existing smallpox vaccine mm. with coverage against monkeypox added. <clears throat> and the second that was approved, which had been in the works, right? That's when the the this article, I think, or this whole narrative went live. It was all in sync. Boom, ready to go. And their shares mm. boosted, their stocks boosted like 26%. People so they could have been in tons of money. They could have been in a situation where it manifested like, all right, monkeypox cases are rising. We got to find a solution for this. Let's try the smallpox vaccine because it's a virus that aligns closely to smallpox. Oh, hey, we've done the clinical trials and now we know that this vaccine is also good for monkeypox. Let's add this to the list of viruses that this smallpox vaccine protects you against. So it could have been just a coincidence. I'm just playing devil's advocate. It could have been a coincidental situation in which the the rise of monkeypox cases led to the need for a new solution. So they looked at existing vaccines that were on the market, found one that was closely aligned, and just 
use that and change the classification of that vaccine to also be a monkeypox vaccine after they discovered that. You know what I'm saying? Because I think they do that often with vaccines. Especially, I mean, I'm assuming that monkeypox is similar is a similar virus to smallpox, right? Like with the type of reaction your body has to it where it produces these bumps, shit over your skin and warts. I can't argue with that. I don't know. I'm just laying out another argument. I mean, everything um, does seem to just kind of flow with reality if you don't really you're right. look in. You know, it's like, oh, you're right. Okay, you're right. Go, like, yeah, the fucking vaccines and this per- that's what we got, it's got science for. So they can, they can save the world every time shit happens. So they're right on it and way to go. You know, well, you got to look, but, you, but with these things, you, you have to, if you're going to consider a conspiracy, you have to look at the opposite side of it too, though, Dylan. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, and that's what we're reading is the opposite side. So I actually had yeah. to look up, intentionally look up. Bavarian Nordic conspiracy is what I search just to see what's out there regarding the opposite I, end. I do that often. And I didn't find much. I mean, I wasn't reading much, right? I didn't spend hours reading, but I just found on Reddit. I'll just share it with you. This is just what I found. This is a starting point for further research. This isn't my conclusion. Sure. I know. Um, it says, it's a, it's a, a subreddit of a screenshot of a market watch article that says Bavarian Nordic shares surge on order for monkeypox vaccine amid Europe outbreaks. One case in the U S so this, this user says the same exact day Bavarian Nordic announced their BARDA deals on smallpox monkeypox vaccines being ordered. The mainstream news media and the government CDC decides to acknowledge and announce a monkeypox outbreak. That's what it hmm. was. Oh, well, there's definitely, and then their share of, of surge. Cor- of course, there's definitely some some palms being greased with money when it comes to that shit. I'm sure, right? Like, and at the same time, they're not sending these. To it Africa. could be. I'm saying it could be a situation in which, like, they, all right, well, monkey box cases are on the rise. There's an opportunity for us all to make money here, right? Like, I'll much. I swear to God, I'm going to fucking shoot this goddamn cat. <laughs> He's fucking scratching at my daughter's door. He's going to fucking wake her up, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to literally kill him. Do you watch the Cat Whisperer show? There's a Cat Whisperer? Yeah, uh, it's called My Cat from Hell or something. It's a guy that shows up and helps people fix their cat problems. Might help you if you haven't seen that show. It's yeah, really interesting. Or I could just put him down. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. God damn it. What were we right. saying? What were we saying, man? Um, Bavarian Nordic shares greasing their palms. Greasing so the there's palms. a there's this disease hitting the U.S. and Europe. We already have this vaccine. Let's. It's not that serious of an outbreak. I mean, sixteen thousand cases is that? I mean, what's the world population, Dylan? Eight billion people. Eight billion. 8 billion people, right? So 16,000 divided by 8 billion. No, I don't you know. Turn, you you got to turn your phone sideways to do that number. World. He's like 0.0000002%. World population is 7.96 billion. Your boy called it, son. Yeah, so 0.0000002% of the population has contracted monkeypox. So it's not that serious. Anyway, my point being, this is not that serious of a disease, yet these, the pharmaceutical company and mainstream media are going to blow it up to where they, it seems really serious, where they can sell vaccines they and everyone money makes money, baby. The COVID wave done rolled. They made everyone all the money We got to make money done. on we something. Got, we, we need more. Look, we got we to gotta beat these profits from last year. Come on, year over year growth. Oh, and backtrack to the last article. One of those guys um, also worked with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation a lot. The voting shit. The last article. Or was oh, it I'm sure one? the Democratic uh, Committee. Yeah, it might have been this one. Actually, I was looking up people's names and just getting quick. Oh, should I? Should I uh, it was Dr. Michael Ryan in July. 
Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's emergency chief? Dr. Michael Ryan said the director general declared monkeypox a global emergency to ensure that the world takes mm. the current outbreak seriously. Although monkeypox has been established in parts of the Central and West Africa for decades, it was not known to spark large outbreaks beyond the continent or to spread widely among people until May, when authorities detected dozens of epidemics in Europe, North America, and elsewhere. So this is where my you know, skepticism kicked in was because like yeah, that's pretty fucking sketchy. So, so I'll just read this about. Uh, that is I sketchy. Copied and, I copied and pasted this from Dr. Michael Ryan's uh, Wikipedia. It's a, it's a little paragraph. In July 1990, Ryan moved to Ireland. And this is who's emergency chief right now that's pushing for global emergency ship. In July 1990, Ryan moved to Iraq with his girlfriend, later his wife, to train Iraqi doctors. Very shortly after his arrival, the invasion of Kuwait happened, which suspended his work and meant he and his wife were made to work as doctors under captivity, often working under duress. A military convoy ran a vehicle Ryan was in off the road, crushing multiple vertebrae. Eventually, Ryan and his wife were allowed to leave Iraq due to their injuries. Ryan's severe back injury prohibited him from working as a surgeon. He made a shift into the fields of public health and infectious diseases. Ryan worked with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on their efforts to stamp out infectious diseases in Africa. That's so interesting, dude. Michael Ryan worked with Bill and Melinda Gates. Remember Bill Gates, philanthropist, shit tons of money helping Africa. So here we are, global emergency. And they're not sending any of these vaccines to Africa where they know it will stop it. All of these resources and attention and our top experts on TV talking about saving the world and no one fucking gets it. They're not saving the world. It's very easy. Back to the Coco slave employees yeah. from the, you know, all they That's wanted the- was just pay us for our work. But here we are doing Starlink and having like, oh, well, we're trying to eradicate the worst forms of human slavery. It's like, dude, your business should be shut down. Stop the fucking slavery and just pay them. Yeah, dude, these aren't hard them. solutions. And it's so strange to watch in real time. Obvious corruption happening and like no one, you know, it's so trippy. 